The afterlife in Judaism, of course, uh, developed over time. Uh, they weren't quite sure about whether there was a life after death early on. Uh, but then in, the, in Job, you have the marvelous statement about, uh, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. One of the most brilliant verses in the entire Bible. And then this has continued, of course. Uh, the Sadducees never got that far, but the Pharisees easily picked up on that. And they had a, a whole expected afterlife. And Jesus did also and proved how you got there in terms of his own resurrection. So what does this mean for Christians? It, this means that life is incredibly more valuable than we ever thought. It's not just a fine gig once a go around and that's the end. No, it's the beginning of something magnificent that will be even more perfect in the life to come when we shed the limitations of our earthly body and get a glorified body like Christ. This is tremendous. This means that the grave is not the end. This means that we have the beginning of a greater life to come for which we Christians can always take comfort and our last days on the deathbed. It'd be terrible if that is only the end. No, no, it's the beginning of something which began and under God never ends. And God proved that to us in the resurrection.